On this week's boiler tip, we're going to look at something we don't always look at, which is jumpers on our flame safeguard controls. Usually hidden behind the display module, it might be something that we've never even really looked at. But if we get a new flame safeguard control, they're an important part of making sure that our system functions the way that it's designed. What these jumpers do is allow us to change or modify the behavior of the control according to the installation. And that may be important based on the flame detector amplifier timings or whether or not we've got a blower motor contact or we're running a fan directly. So I'm just gonna to touch on a couple different jumpers or three or four uh, and talk about what they do. On this unit, the 7895 is really designed for a burner with a blower, but it's usually used on a fairly smaller scale application. That said, we may have a blower motor that's powered directly from the 7800. On larger units, we don't have that. We usually use a three-phase contactor to run the fan. But because we're running um, the fan directly from the flame safeguard in some applications, we don't have a blower motor starter lock and other things that we would be checking. So the jumper three on this, if we remove it when it's new, um, before it's burnt in, will actually verify the operation of our air switch. What it will do is verify that it closes when there's a command for the fan, but it will also check that it's open when the fan output is off. So that's a neat additional safety enhancing feature. Uh, jumper two on this um, gives us a recycle or lockout operation. On boilers, if we lose flame, generally we're going to lock out. But on some air handlers and some other applications, relighting attempts are permissible, assuming that we've got the correct amplifier timing picked. So I've installed these before and got faults because I had a normal three, what I call normal, three second amplifier in there, but the relight jumper was intact. So I was required to have a faster response time and I didn't. Um, so you just wanna take a good quick look at the jumpers in a control and make sure, especially when you're replacing one that you set or remove the jumpers according to how the original was. Um, if you've had a unit in place and you've got beyond a certain number of run hours, changing those jumper configurations are going to brick the control. So it's something we basically do on a new unit installation to match the old one.